Hello everybody, hope everyone well during the second wave of uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Today we will talk about antifungal drugs. Uh, in this table you will find this summary of antifungal drugs which are classified into subclasses. Class number one, polyene macrolide which include amphotericin B. Number two, biremidine analog like fluocytosine. Number three, azoles, which like ketoconazole, itraconazole, fluconazole. Number four is echinocandins, like casbofungins. Number five, alilamin, like terpenafin. This is a subclasses of um, five subclasses of antifungal drug, their mechanism of action, their effect, and clinical application. And last column in the right one is pharmacokinetic toxicity and interactions. Human fungal infections increased in incidence and severity in recent years. Uh, this is why mainly to number one advances in surgery, number two due to cancer treatment, number three treatment of patient with solid organ and bone marrow transplantation, number four due to HIV pandemic epidemic, number five increasing the use of broad spectrum antimicrobial therapy in critically ill patients. These changes, all these changes resulted in increase in number of patients at risk for fungal infections. The antifungal drugs fall into the following. Number one, systemic drugs, oral or parenteral for systemic infections and oral drugs for mucocutaneous infections. Number two is topical drugs for mucocutaneous infections. Uh, this is the mechanism of action of all anti of subclasses of antifungal drugs. Here in the left is a fungal cell. Flocytosin will inhibit a DNA and RNA synthesis. We will find that echinocandins inhibit a beta to leucanthin cis, which inhibit a cell membrane bilayer. Amphotericin B make a pores in the cell membrane bilayer, uh, like nystatin. Azoles will inhibit the conversion of lanosterol to an ergosterol, which is the active constituent of a cell membrane bilayer. Terpenafine inhibit the conversion of squalene to squalene epoxide. Uh, we will start with the systemic antifungal drug used for a systemic infections. Systemic means either by oral route or by intravenous route. Number one, amphotericin B. Amphotericin A not in clinical use and amphotericin B are antifungal antibiotic produces or produced by streptomyces nodosis. Amphotericin B is amphoteric polyene macrolide. That is to say polyene means containing many double bonds and macrolide means containing large lactone ring of 12 or more atoms. It is nearly insoluble in water and prepared as a colloidal suspension of amphotericin B and sodium dioxycholate for intravenous infect injection. Oral amphotericin B effective only on fungi with the lumen of the tract and cannot be used for a treatment of a systemic diseases. While an intravenous injection 0.6 mg per kilogram per day of amphotericin B result in average blood level of 0.3 to 1 microgram per milliliter, more than 90% of it bound by serum proteins. The serum half-life of amphotericin B 15 days, intrathecal therapy used for certain type of fungal meningitis necessary, cause two to three percent only reaches cerebrospinal fluid when used intravenously. Mechanism of action and resistance of amphotericin B. Amphotericin B selective fungicidal effect. Ergosterol, which is a cell membrane sterol found in fungi, whereas predominant sterol of bacteria and human cell is cholesterol. Amphotericin B binds the ergosterol and alter the permeability of the cell by forming amphotericin B associated pores in the cell membrane. 
the pores allow the leakage of intracellular ions and macromolecules leading to cell death of the fungi while the resistance okay if ergosterol binding is impaired either by decreasing in membrane concentration of an ergosterol or modifying a listerol target molecule to reduce its affinity for the drug antifungal activity and clinical use of amphotericin b amphotericin b is fungicidal and the broadest spectrum of action of all antifungal useful agent for nearly all life-threatening mycotic infections used as the initial induction regimen to rapidly reduce a fungal burden and then replaced by one of the newer azole drugs for chronic therapy or prevention of relapse. Uh, induction therapy is especially important for immunosuppressant patients and patients with severe fungal pneumonia severe cryptococcal meningitis or disseminated infection with one of the endemic mycoses such, such as histoplasmosis and cocodiodomycosis. Local or topical administration of amphotericin B has been used. Mycotic coronal ulcers and keratitis can be cured with topical drops as well as direct sub conjunctival injections fungal arthritis has been treated with adjunctive local injection directly into the joint patient with candid urea respond to bladder irrigation with amphotericin b the side effects of uh, amphotericin b divided into two classes class one infusion related reactions consist of fever chills muscle spasm, vomiting, headache, and hypotension can be ameliorated by slowing an infusion rate or decreasing a daily dose. Number two, cumulative toxicity, renal damage, and abnormalities of a liver functions. The second drug is flocytosin. Flocytosin is water-soluble by remedy and analog related to the chemotherapeutic agent 5-fluorouracil its spectrum of action is much narrower than an amphotericin B used orally and eliminated by glomerular filtration rate by glomerular filtration with half-life of 3 to 4 hours and can be removed by hemodialysis toxicity more likely to occur in AIDS patients and those with renal insufficiency Mechanism of action and resistance of flocytosin. Flocytosin is taken up by fungal cells via the enzyme cytosine permease. Then flocytosin converted intracellularly variously to 5 fluorouracil and then to 5 fluorodeoxyuridine monophosphate and fluorouridine triphosphate. Both of them inhibited DNA and RNA synthesis respectively. Resistant is thought to be mediated through altered metabolism of low cytosine and occur mainly in almonotherapy. Clinical use is an adverse effect of low cytosine using combination therapy with amphotericin B for cryptococcal meningitis or can be used with itraquinazole and chromophoral chromoblastomycosis. Adverse effect of low cytosine result from metabolism, possibly by an intestinal flora to the toxic antineoplastic compound fluorouracil. Bone marrow toxicity with anemia and leukemia and thrombocytopenia are most common. The third group is azoles. Azoles are synthetic compounds classified either imidazoles or triazoles according to number of nitrogen atoms in the five member azole ring. The imidazole consists of ketoconazole, muconazole, and clotrimazole. The later muconazole and clotrimazole are now used only in topical therapy. The triazoles include itraconazole, fluconazole, and voriconazole. Other 
triazoles are currently under investigations. Mechanism of action antifungal activity results from the reduction of ergosterol synthesis by inhibition of fungal cytochrome P450 enzymes. The selective toxicity of adult drugs result from either greater affinity for fungal than for a human cytochrome B450 enzyme. Imidazole exhibit a lesser degree of selectivity than the triazoles, accounting for their higher incidence of drug interactions and adverse effects. Clinical uses adverse effect drug reactions or drug interactions. The spectrum of azole medication is broad, including many species of Candida, Cryptococcus neoformans, the endemic mycosis like plastomycosis, cochidiodomycosis, histoplasmosis, the dermatophytes, and in case of itraconazole, pusaconazole, isafluconazole, voriconazole, even as Bergillus infections can be treated. The most common adverse reaction is minor GIT upsets. All azole have been reported to cause abnormalities in liver enzyme and very rarely clinical hepatitis. All azoles are prone to drug interaction because they affect a mammalian cytochrome B450 enzyme system to some extent. The first group is echinaconidins. Well, echinaconidins are the newest classes of antifungal drugs. Well, echina, echinocondins are large cyclic peptides linked to a long chain of fatty acids. The example of echinocondins is Casbo fungin, Mica fungin, and Andiola fungin. These agents are active against Candida and Aspergillus, but not Cryptococcus neoformans. Echinocondins are available only f in intravenous formulation. Casbofungin is administered a single loading dose of 70 mg followed by a daily dose of 50 mg. Casbofungin is water soluble and highly protein bound. Half life of casbofungin is 9 to 11 hours and metabolite is secreted by the kidneys and a GIT. Mika fungin displays similar properties but with half life of 11 to 15 hours and is used at a dose of 150 mg per day for a treatment of esophageal candidiasis, 100 mg per day for a treatment of candidemia, and 50 mg per day for a prophylaxis of a fungal infections. Mechanism of action of echinocandins at the level of fungal cell wall inhibiting a synthesis of a beta 1,3 glucan. This results in disruption of a cell wall of a fungi and leading to cell death. Clinical uses adverse effect of an echinocandins. Casbofungin is currently licensed for disseminated and mucocutaneous candidal infections as well as for empiric antifungal therapy during a febrile neutropenia and has largely replaced an amphotericin B for the later inductions. That means, you know, a patient begins be febrile neutropenia or shakin in the fungal infection, be a dual casbo fungin, we do my name and tazri, we show an effective antifungal. Mika fungin license for mucocutaneous candidiasis, candidemia, and prophylaxis of candidal infections in bone marrow transplant patients. Any doula fungin approved for use of an esophageal candidiasis and invasive candidiasis, even for alcandidemia. Echinocandin agents, all of them well tolerated with minor GIT side effects and flushing reported infrequently. Elevated liver enzyme have been noted in several patients receiving a casbo fungin when used in combination with a cyclosporin. 
The second group is an oral systemic antifungal drugs, but used for mucocutaneous infections. For example, urizovulvin. These drugs used orally, but only for mucocutaneous infection. Grisovulvin is an insoluble fungistatic drug derived from a species of penicillin. It's only used in systemic treatment of dermatophytosis, administered in microcrystalline oral form at a dose of up to one gram per day. Absorption improved when it is given with fatty as fatty foods. Grisovulvin mechanism of action at a cellular level unclear, but it is deposited in newly forming skin via it pine to keratin protecting the skin from new infection cause its action is to prevent the infection of these new skin structures grisovulvin must be administered for two to six weeks for skin and hair infection to allow replacement of infected keratin by the resistant structures nail infections may require therapy for bounces with the growth evolving. Side effects include an, an allergic syndrome, much like serum sickness, serious skin reaction, lupus like syndrome, hepatotoxicity, and there is a drug interaction between growth evolving and a warfarin and a phenoparpital. The second one is terpenophen. Terpenophen is synthetic elilamine that is available in oral formulation and used a dose of 250 mg per day used for a treatment of a dermatophytosis especially onchomycosis like grisovulvin terpenophen is a keratophilic medication but unlike grisovulvin it is fungicidal while grisovulvin is fungistatic like as all drugs, it interferes with ergosterol biosynthesis, but terpenophene inhibitor fungal enzyme squalene epoxidase lead to accumulation of an esterol squalene, which is toxic to alfungi. When 200 mg tablet given daily for 12 weeks achieve a cure rate of up to 90% for onychomycosis, and is more effective than grisovulvin oral itraconazole. Side effects rare, consisting of GIT upsets, headache, but serious hepatotoxicity have been reported. The same one is topical antifungal therapy. Oh, now example number one is nystatin, is bullying macrolide, much like amphoteris MB. It is too toxic for parental administration, is only used topically. Nystatin is available in creams or in men suppositories and other form for application to skin and even in mucous membrane. It is not absorbed to a significant degree from the skin, mucous membrane and not absorbed from a GIT. As a result, nystatin has little toxicity, although oral use is often limited by the unpleasant taste. Some common indications include oropharyngeal thrush, vaginal candidiasis, enterorygnous candi candidal infections. The second one is topical azoles. Azoles can be used topically. Two azoles most commonly used topically are clotrimazole and muconazole. Several others are available used for vulvovaginal candidiasis. Oral clotrimazole thrushes are available for treatment of oral thrush and are a pleasant tasting alternative to anistatin. In cream form, post agents are useful for dermatophytic infections, including Tina corbiris, Tina beds, Tina cruris. Side effects are rare when used topically. Although topical and shampoo forms of ketoconazole are also available and useful in treatment of seborrheic dermatitis and terrises versicolor. Number three is topical elements like terpenophene and natifene. All of them, both of them are elements available as topical creams. 
both are effective for the treatment of tina cruris and tina corporis thank you very much for your attention